Welcome to Godolkin University. It's a safe space for you to thrive. You're not the police. You're not the president. You're not the Oh. Did you find that kind of courage? I'm superhuman, right? We're made of steel. <laughs> I just saw Sesame Street being R-rated. That's that's what I got from that trailer. From what I know, The Boy season four and five will probably be its last few seasons uh, before this finished the entire series altogether. And then they're going to have a couple of spin-off series as well. So Gen V is one of them. And it's going to be running alongside of season four at the same time. So you're going to have a couple of uh, cameos from different characters coming in between each uh, uh, series. So you, you, of course, you've seen in the trailer, you saw A-Train, you saw Ashley Barrett. You've got a few cameos here and there. And they'll probably have a massive role in this series or if not the characters in gen v is going to have an influence in the boys season four i don't know much about this because this just literally just dropped on my uh, on my page so i'm gonna watch it when it comes out but i genuinely have no idea what to expect the color grade is a bit different in case you uh, didn't uh, clock on if you compare the color grade between gen v and the boys the boys is a lot more where well, it's, le it's less saturated, meaning it's got a lot more cooler tones and it looks a bit bleak, whereas this has a more colorful look. So take whatever you want from that. It just seems like this looks a lot more colorful, more vibrant, because it's probably y the younger generation of uh, of soups in a university and there's a lot of dead bodies and gore. It's most, it must be a creative choice. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am looking forward to it when it comes out. If you like the trailer, if you like the reactions, please like, share, subscribe and comment and hopefully I get to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.